What up everybody? Today I am talking with a cheat developer in CS2. He's going to show me all of the features of his cheat. He's going to explain how it works. He's going to explain how to combat it. We're going to talk about the state of the CS2 scene at the moment and maybe teach you some things that you didn't even know, especially if you're not a cheater. So let's get into it. I'm here with Netherlands, who is a prominent cheat developer. You've made two types of cheats, right? One's external, one's internal. Yes, the, the internal ones just have like, it doesn't have any visuals or anything. And for my audience, what's the difference between an external and an internal cheat? An internal you inject into the game. It's a DLL that you inject into, ga into the game. You can read the memory directly in inside of the game, whilst the external reads and writes memory outside of the game, to the game. Oh, you can still get banned with externals, right? It's just uh, considerably less chance. There's different opinions on it, if it's more chance getting banned externally or internally. From my opinion and from what most people say, the difference is when you are internal, you have a lot more things that you need to think about. Read the wrong memory inside of the game, the, the game will detect it, and then you get banned. Or you get red trust factor, for example. So why haven't Valve beat the cheaters yet? Why haven't we combated the cheaters and just eradicated them out of the game? Why hasn't that happened yet? I think, I, from my opinion, they have been able to do that for I don't know how long. My how can me? they do it? And why aren't they doing it? I'm gonna say my opinions. I don't, I'm not saying this is true or this is false. This yeah, is what I think. This is personal opinion. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what how they would do it is basically there's millions of public sheets on GitHub, for example, or in YouTube sources they can see how sheets are made they have everything they need to block it i'm not much of an anti-sheet maker but they can what I, like how i would do it is just use that for example someone is calling you an unknown like unknown uh, you know when you turn off your number mm -hmm. you can't block it right because you don't know you can you can't block it yeah but when you have the number you can block it yeah that, that's like the same thing they have all they need they can block it okay and of course, they're not going to be able to block every sheet. There's always going to be something, someone that's in front of them. Yeah. It's always someone. It's a game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And what I think they haven't done this is because they're, they are earning money from our sheeters. Because lots, of skins getting banned? Lots of money. No, not skins. Prime, for example. Okay. When, when, when a sheeter gets banned, they, they go buy a new account. Valve earns for, on it, like, in the, like, in the end. There's so you think still it's all financial incentives just to keep cheaters in the game. You think they're I think, just pretending to like do something about them by having a ban wave every now and again? Yeah, in the beginning of CS2, me, I was wondering, I, I really thought that they are doing something big. They are just waiting for everyone to start cheating now. Yeah. I, I really thought that, and then from out of nowhere, when they have gotten enough information, everyone banned. Yeah, I hope I that. waited for months for them to ban me. Nope. <laughs> Nothing of a game. My opinion is that they can do something about it, and if they like, they made this game. Of course, they can block people from doing things inside of their game. They know how their game is built up better than anyone else does. They don't care about like the community. They really don't because they would have done stuff a lot like a long time ago. Or they are scammed, and that really surprises me. <laughs> yeah, it surprises me too. How, how how a game developer when they have all the information they need can't block it. They can remove all not all cheaters, but they can remove the majority yeah yeah i'd say 80 percent do you think a more intrusive anti-cheat would help something like uh riots vanguard yes it would yeah because they've got rid of like a lot of their cheaters obviously people yeah, but, still cheat but yeah, yeah yeah it wouldn't permanently make no cheaters whatsoever but if you can take 95 percent of the cheaters out of the game then it's basically then like solved yeah. already, you know? like every other game, there's at least but one the, cheater. Yeah, the thing is that I think there's a cheater, one, at least one cheater in almost every game nowadays. But they're playing legit, because it's when like I'm, for example, yeah. Yeah. When, when I closed a cheater, I think last week, I played two games, I was literally, I could see how people were looking at me through the wall. When you're cheating, it's a lot easier to tell when other people cheat. Yeah, yeah. I, can listen, I, was, I called him out, I wrote, you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, uh, no, and I said, I wrote, I'm cheating too, I can see you looking at me through the wall. <laughs> I've seen some, yeah. some crazy features on some other cheats, like Magic Bullet. 
Okay. I don't specialize in doing things like that. I'm most, yeah. I, I stay to the legit side. But basically, it is that you can shoot from anywhere, correct? Yeah, I think like the bullet goes under the map and then like comes back up or something. That is pretty broken. It, it is really broken. But uh, I had such yeah. high hopes for CS2 because they said they were bringing up like VACnet Live and all of that kind of AI stuff. I mean, what what happened? What, what what's gone wrong? If the AI actually would work properly, it would be over for us, she us cheaters. Yeah. But Did the you? AI, <laughs> they would also get. I think it's too much work for them. Pretty small team, don't they? So. Yeah, yeah. I think it's too much work for them. You have like you you've seen these band waves in the recent like in the recent. Yeah, there's been I, a lot of band waves. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of a few band waves. Yeah, there was a guy yeah, yeah. I was playing against like three days ago, and he got banned today. Mm -hmm. That was satisfying. From all these band waves, there's been people getting banned that weren't cheating. They could lie, they could not lie. You know I've also I mean? heard that there was a few times like the, the DPI thing, where if you yeah, turn yeah, I've seen a video of it too on fast, YouTube as well. Yeah. Where would you say your cheat lays on the list of the most popular cheats used right now? Our CS2 sheet is pretty new. Yeah. We haven't been around for that long. We have maybe, I think, maybe 300 or 400 users at the moment. Okay, yeah. And we aren't that known yet. Mm -hmm. Our V1 is like the current version that's released. Yeah. It's just like a simple external. It has no more features than it needs. It does its job. It, like you don't need more. And that makes makes us sure that because the more features you have, the more things can go wrong. Definitely. I'm not the owner of sales record. Like I own the CS2 part, mm -hmm. but like the main thing of the sheet from the beginning was for. Have you heard of? It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it. So that we have, I, we had, I think one one K users right now. Okay. As well. And is it like your full time job? Both yes and no. I I go to uh, uni. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't work. But this is how I. This is yeah. I, I earn enough here. I nice. live on what I earn from it. For now, we this is the V two, so we're not properly done yet. We have a lot to go, but we have we have some features. We have aimbot and visuals. Our aimbot is really humanized. You wouldn't notice if someone is using it. From my, my opinion. So yeah, master switch turns on all the aimbot features. Then you have only visible. So basically, what this does if if the enemy is visible. So if I'm behind a wall, it won't lock onto the enemy. If I can see him, it locks. Aimbot key, aimbot mode, hitbox. So basically, the hitbox is where the aimbot is gonna aim at. So head, neck, chest, where it pelvis. Onto, yeah. and then we have uh, body aim if lethal. So basically, it will override what I choose as, as hitbox and body aim and go for uh, chest. Mm -hmm. if, it, if the enemy is under 30. Is that to look less suspicious? Like if someone is shooting and just shoots everyone in the chest, yeah. I don't think someone would say anything. True. But if I'm shooting and I'm only going for head all the time, then it's a lot more obvious, yeah. Then we have dynamic FOV, which FOV is field of view, how long I can be outside. I'll show you. Look, if I put my FOV to five, I have here this round circle, and if I go here, it will lock on. But if I'm outside of this circle, if the enemy is outside of this circle, has to be within the target zone. Yeah. Uh, if the enemy is moving, the FOV will be higher. And if the enemy, as I said, is under 30 HP, it will also be higher. If I'm low, it will either go up and down. If he's done a lot of damage, the aimbot becomes uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. Then we have dyna dynamic smoothness, which is yeah, same factors as the other one. If I have smoothness to 5, it's going to be a, uh, not snappy, it's going to be really slow, so you wouldn't notice it. But if I put it to 0, it's going to instantly lock on. So okay. then, yeah, so everyone who's legit cheating uses high smoothness to not get called out. Then we have trigger bot, which basically is if my crosshair is on the enemy, it will auto shoot for me. Then we have rage bot, so ignore wall is if it shoots through wall, walls or not. Mm -hmm. Then here comes like the big part of our sheet. So basically, we have only three days in development. Is this so? Spotted ESP, same as visibility check. If the enemy is uh, behind the wall, so basically what I can do is I'll show you right now. This is if it's visible. Yeah. If it's not visible. Ah, it changes color. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, dormancy. Well, if the player makes a sound, the ESP will render, and it can. It's also based on distance. So if the enemy is far away, it won't render due to like optimizations. We have uh, yeah, name ESP shows the name, name animation. Just some stuff just for fun. <laughs> Looks good. Uh, we have health bar. Yeah, it just shows the health. 
Yeah. Ammo bar shows the ammo how much ammo the player has, mm -hmm. and it's the same shows a number. Then we have gradient, why not? Same with uh, health bar, just for like customization. Definitely, some people try to play. Really yeah, some like people love life. customizing their teams. Yeah. Head bone, which shows like the head, where yeah. the head is. It, it's a lot easier to know where you should aim if you're not using aimbot. Uh, yeah, skeleton shows the color. We have flags, which shows uh, how much money the player has mm -hmm. and how much ping he has. We have show competitive wins. You see lethal, means the player is under 30 HP. Okay, yeah. This future would either give you red trust or ban, because this writes, writes memory to CS2. Modifies the game itself instead of just reading yes. it. Yeah. Yes, even the aimbot just reads. It must take what? some kind of control in order to adjust the aim. Yes, sure. yes. it uses mouse events. Okay. Which CS2 like Windows well mouse events. Yes. Okay. Like CS2, the, they can't do anything with it because it's like I'm moving my mouse right now. It just moves it automatically yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, but not inside of the game. Yeah. It will look the same to the PC as if you were moving yeah. it. We have color smoke, remove smoke, flash bang builder. So you can, for example, if you play legit, maybe you still want to get flashed, but you can put it low, for example. Uh, we have hit marker, which means that if you hit the enemy, it will. <laughs> we'll just yeah. show, show a little like COD style. Definitely. And here comes the interesting part that I have not seen any external in CS2 at the moment have. Sound ESP. So basically, what this does is every time the player makes a sound, this is for players that want to play really legit. You can change how, like how the animation is and how, like the range of it. If the player is moving, it's going to generate a thing under. Like ripples in water. <laughs> yep. So if I was here and the enemy was moving right there, I would know where he is. Like I would not. I, I mean, I still look legit, but yeah. you know what I mean. And we have local sound ESP again, as well. That's like what we have for the V2 at the moment. Mm -hmm. But this is all you would need for a proper sheet. This is the standard, more than the standard of an external sheet now. In yeah. Before. Do you want me to? Um, show the other version, our internal version. Yeah, 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 do it. Is the no spread um, enabled again? Like random numbers used for shooting spread are now synchronized between clients and servers by default. This allows you to predict where your spread is going 100% oh, of the time. Yeah. So yeah, apparently it got fixed. Yeah. Did not get introduced into CS2 and now it just got patched in <laughs> again. So uh, this is our internal version, we have no spread. Basically what no spread is, means is that if it turns on, I will have 100% accuracy all the time, so basically if I'm in there. Do yeah. you see the bullet? Yeah, bullets should not be laser beams like that. <laughs> it's like the Quake railgun. And then if it turns off, check the difference. Yeah. yeah. Crazy that they patched that in when it was, wasn't even a thing. Uh, we have third person as well, which basically just gets you out of first person. This is what cheaters would use, that hack with hack, basically. Definitely, yeah, I've seen a lot of them do it. Third person, we can, I can change it to whatever I want. Yeah. I have a uh, fob changer, which, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. It's over it. <laughs> so basically, it will disable Molotov. Yeah. Then it's smoked as well. This yeah. would be good when cheating. Definitely. We have, I think, yeah, 400 users, 304, as I said before. We have not had one single ban report. Yeah, one for as long as we detection did. since you not launched. One single. We had 100 users using it actively. We had 50 playing really blatant, 50 playing really, really legit. Yeah. Not one back ban. Okay. We had them, it was beta, so for two months they were doing this. Yeah. Like when people think of sheets and they see this, they don't understand anything. If we're talking about the future of cheating and CS, yeah. if, if things are staying the same way that they are right now, then it's just going to be a ridiculous amount of cheaters and nothing being done about them, right? If Valve doesn't have anything up their sleeve, behind the yeah. after sleeve, then I, I, it's pretty dumb. If, yeah. it, if they're going to leave it as it is right now, CS2 is not going to be alive for so long. Well, it's not going to be fun to play for legit people like me, so yeah, why would you play a game that isn't fun? I played legit firstly, then I saw all, like every game rich. Mm -hmm. Only only raid cheaters, and then I was like, nah, there's money, really much money to be made here. Definitely, yeah. And every, like, I mean, I'm not going to miss out on it. 
that a, a big well-known cheat that a lot of my viewers would know recently yeah. was bought for like half a million, right? Yes. So that's crazy as it is. And I'm sure from private subscriptions and all of the users anyway, he made a lot more money than that before he's he sold made, it. He's made, um, I can't say the exact number, but so a subscription is $20. That's 400K. A month? A month. 400k a month for a private nope. cheat with only 15 20k users yes but the thing is that they have it so if you don't have a sub you need to buy a sub yeah but yeah. the current state of these two is that i think it's gonna die if valve doesn't do anything about it and Definitely. i think they are going to because they would have already done it yeah cs2 was such a they Anti released it way too early <laughs> they should focus on cheaters because that's what breaks the game definitely That's what... do anyone you want to shout out or anything? yeah i'm gonna give a shout out to suski and or natalie well uh thanks a lot I mean, for your time I... today and talking me uh through your cheat thanks for yourself man one cheat that he did mention which i will not mention the name of he said it's the absolute top of its game right now i want to show you some features of it obviously it's an internal cheat so you can do a hell of a lot more than his external cheat that he's been working on but this is the art of the possible in cs2 right now moving on from skin changer by the way i just want to say one more thing you can do t and ct separate uh moving on from there we have miscellaneous so we have bunny hop uh air strafe air duck quick stop strafe assist edge jump we have field of view override zoom automatic purchase automatic pistol quick switch straight throw we're literally sitting here we're just gonna hold mouse button for the entire fucking game because this is literally all we're gonna do for the rest of the game and we win night three two one Ever heard of no spread? I agree, by the way. This should be patched. Like, no spread, what I'm doing right now shouldn't be possible. Jumping around and playing people doesn't make sense. I'm not even ADSing. I'm literally no scoping and jumping. It's ridiculous. That's right, they've even got the new skins before us legit people do. You can do stuff that I did not even think was physically possible in the game engine. The state of the game is not fantastic right now and Valve really, really needs to step up their game. I'm gonna keep making these exposés and talking to people on the inside of the cheating scene until it's fixed. It may never be fixed, so maybe I'll just keep making these videos forever. Who knows? That one day, one day we get a cheat-free CS game. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, slap that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.